left Loch Craignish this morning and now I'm at the McCormack Islands, anchored in a little inlet on Aylin Moor, the largest of these islands. This is famous for a small chapel and was said to be where John Paul Jones, the pirate, used to hide in this little inlet here. Behind me on the hill there is a small chapel and a, that was supposed to be used by one of the uh, monks from St Columba. So let's go ashore now and see what we can find. ashore in the place where John Paul Jones, the great pirate, may well have been uh, ashore himself. The chapel of St Cormac, the Irish saint Aban Mochu Cormac, was probably built during the early 13th century as a simple rectangular church of the type common throughout Argyll and the Scottish Islands. Probably around the middle of the 14th century the walls of the chancel were thickened to support a stone vault. In the process, a window to the south of the altar was blocked up and the other windows were also altered. Further alterations were carried out in the nave of the chapel during its use as a dwelling after the Reformation, including the insertion of an upper storey fire and its fireplace. Well, let's go in and see what we can find.
Haley Moore McCormick Trust welcomes you to our island. We are a registered charity with the aim of safeguarding this beautiful island for generations to come. We hope you enjoy your visit and we'd like to thank you for keeping your dog on the lead. Well, that's good, is it? I don't have a dog. And anyway, I thought this island was owned by the Scottish National Party. Huh. Ach, well, you never know. I thought I might meet uh, Alex Salmond, but not today. <laughs>